In this video, we are going to see how to send WhatsApp message when refund is created in Stripe. Let's say you are using Stripe as your payment gateway and you want that every time a refund request is created on Stripe, the client who has requested for this should receive a message on WhatsApp. So this can be done using Public Connect software. So here you will have to integrate these two applications. The trigger application would be Stripe and your action application would be WhatsApp. Now how you can do this yourself to show you that step by step, let me take you to my screen. So let us now begin with the process. The first thing that we have to do is we have to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. And as we click on enter, it will take us to the landing page of this software. Now here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in and if you are a new user, you will have to sign up for free. This is an absolutely easy thing. You can just sign up in two minutes and at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in and now it has taken me to the All Apps page. Here, since we are doing this integration using Public Connect software, so let's click on access now. And now it has taken us to the dashboard of this application. So on the right hand side, you can see a blue tab create workflow. Let's click on this and now we'll have to name our workflow. So we wish to send WhatsApp message when refund is created in Stripe. So basically we have to do a Stripe and WhatsApp integration. So I'm going to name it as Stripe to WhatsApp integration. And now let's click on create. So once done, see now another window has appeared which has got two very important events, trigger and action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this. Basically action is the response of the trigger. Now here we want that every time there's a refund request initiated on Stripe, then this workflow should run. So here I'm going to choose my trigger application as Stripe and now the event. So the trigger event is what will happen. So here a new refund would be initiated. So I'm going to click on new refund. And now you can see that we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge between the two applications Public Connect and Stripe. So here we are going to copy this. I have already logged into my Stripe account. So it is asking me to go to dashboards webhooks settings section. So let's click on this. So this is my Stripe's account and here I'm going to go to developers. Since I'm doing a test run, so I've already clicked on this test mode and it is on. Now here on the left hand side, you can see webhooks. Let's click on this. And here on the right hand side, you can see add endpoint. So I'm going to now click on this. Now, if we go back to Public Connect here, this particular URL, we are going to copy this and now going back to Stripe, I'm going to paste this URL over here. Once done and as we scroll down here, you can see the version. So here you will have to select the latest API version and then we have to select the events. So here, what is my event? I have requested for refund, right? So my event would be charge refunded. So this is my event. I'm going to click on this and add events. So once done, let's click on add endpoint. So basically here I have connected my URL. Now going back to Pabli Connect, what is it asking? Now log into the application where you have added the webhook URL and do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So basically here we'll have to go back to our Stripe account and we will have to refund a payment. So I'm going to go back to Stripe and here I'm going to go to payments. And let's say that I here wish to refund this thing okay so this 35,000 item so let's first check what is this item so this is a pabli plus plan this is a subscription plan that i've taken for 35,000 rupees the customer is dummy at pablitudes.com dummy pabli india in pabli is the descriptor i want this amount to be refunded so here what i'm going to do is this 35,000 amount i'm going to go here and click on this and click on refund payment so let's click on this and now it is asking me for the reason why do I want to refund the amount. So let's say the amount got duplicated. Here you have got different reasons and also other you can write your own reason. So let's click on this refund. So here it is saying that 35,000 this amount has been refunded. I'm going to go back to Public Connect and check if we have received the webhook response. 
So now here you can see that yes, we have received the response. So here you can see that the object was refund and the amount was 35,000. But here it has come as a lot more. Why? Because there's a little glitch. Stripe doesn't take the decimal into account. So here we'll have to format the number. Now I want that every time there's a refund created on Stripe, a message should be shared with my client on WhatsApp. But if I want to do that, I need the mobile number. And here we can see that we have the payment details. We have the email address, we have the name and we have the descriptor, but we do not have the mobile number of my client. So it is not possible for me to send a WhatsApp message and also I do not have the product details. So for this, I'll have to add another action step here. Let's click on this. And now I will have to select Stripe as my application. Once done, now I have to retrieve the customer's details. So here I'm going to choose my application is as retrieve a customer by email now let's click on connect and here we are going to go ahead with the same connection so let's click on save and now once we come down we have to map the data mapping basically means we have to get the information that we have already received in the previous steps so here i'm going to click and click on the first step stripe new refund and here let's look for the email address this is the email address and now I'm going to click on save and send test request. So here we have received the API response. This is basically my customer ID. This is the customer ID and you know the city address basically. And if I take you down here, this is the email address name and this is the mobile number. So now I have got the mobile number, which means that I would be able to send a WhatsApp message. So now I'm going to take you down why because I need to add another action step here I do not have the product details so here I'm going to again choose my application as stripe and then the action event here would be retrieve a payment intent so basically it retrieves the details of the payment intent that has previously been created so I'm going to click on this and then click on connect again we are going to choose the existing connection and now as we come down here, we have to map the payment intent ID. So I'm going to go to Stripe new refund. This is my payment intent ID. Refund status zero payment intent. Let's click on this. And now I'm going to click on save and send test request. See again, I have received the response. So here you can see that this is the name of our product. So we have received the product name, we have received the mobile number. And now the next step would be to correct this number. So I'm going to click on this, add another action step. And here I'm going to choose a feature by Pabli, which is number formatter. And now the action event would be to perform a math operation because here I have to remove zeros extra zeros so now i'll have to map the number again i'm going to go to new refund and this is the amount so let's click on this and here i'm going to put a comma and write 100 basically i'm going to divide it by 100 and the operation would be divide let's click on save and send test request and now here you can see that yes we have received the information so now I have got all the information to send a message to my client. So the next application that I'm going to add is WhatsApp API. So this is WhatsApp Cloud API. And now the action event would be to send a template message. Let's click on this. And now let's click on connect. So here Public Connect is asking to connect itself with WhatsApp Cloud API account. I'm going to click on add new connection and now to set up this connection, it is asking me for three things. Token ID, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. For this, I'm going to take you to my Meta for Developers page. I have already logged into this account and now we'll go to my apps. I have already created a few apps here. You can create your own app by clicking on this green tab, create app. And now I'm going to click on this my connect message app that I've already created. And here I'm going to go on the left hand side. You can see WhatsApp and then getting started. So let's click on getting started. And here you can see that we have received the information. So this is the temporary access token. This is the phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. There's one very important thing that you have to remember. This is just a temporary access token. It is not a permanent token. 
Now this token will expire in 23 hours which means that if you create your workflow using this token your workflow will stop to work after 23 hours which means a day. For this you will have to create a permanent access token and a dedicated video regarding this is given in the video description where you can just go and watch the step by step tutorial and create your own permanent access token. Now since this is just a test run, I'm going to copy this, go back to Babli Connect and here I'm going to paste this. Then again I'm going to go back to this. Then this is the phone number ID, C copied, pasted and then go back. What's the business account ID and this is also pasted here. Now let's click on save. So here you can see that Pabli Connect and WhatsApp Cloud API, these two applications are now connected. So if I come down here, it is asking for the template name. Basically, what are templates? When I say that I wish to send my clients a message, which means it would be a pre-written message. I'm not going to write a message every time. So templates are pre-written messages that you can share with your clients and customers. Here, I'm going to take you back to my Metaphor Developers page. And here step two says to create your own message template click here. Let's click on this. Now I've already created a lot of templates. So if you wish to create your own template, you will have to click on this create message template and then you can form your template. Now I already have created. So I'm going to show you refund process final. This is my message template. Now here I have not chosen any header. You can choose an image or a video or a PDF file. Now here let's see the body part. Here we have written dear and then you can see few numbers are written within double curly braces. Basically these numbers are the variables. Every time the name of the client would be different. So for this we wish to map the data. So here is the dear one. One means the name. A refund of rupees this. So here you, you will have to write the amount. So your amount would be mapped here. Has been processed against the product and here comes your product name. The refund will be processed within two to three working days. Please feel free to connect at now four is what you can provide a number or an email address in case of any queries regards team Pabli. So this is the preview of this message. So the message would look something like this. Now I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and here the template is refund processed final. Let's click on this and now see the language code has already been uh, registered here and then we have to have the recipient's mobile number. Now this mobile number should be with the country code but without the plus sign and the number that we have received in our previous step is with the plus sign which means now we have to add another action step here which is a feature by Pabli text formatter. So let's click on this and now the action event. So here the action event would be split text. Let's click on this and now let's click on connect. So once connected, we'll have to map the data. So here the text to split would be. So I need to have the mobile number and where did we receive the mobile number when we had retrieved the information by email. So I'm going to go to the second step and then this is the mobile number. Then the separator here, the separator would be plus because I need the information after the plus sign and which segment do I need? I need the second segment, which means before plus or after plus. So I need the information after plus. Let's click on save and send test request. And here you can see that I have received the information without the plus sign, but with the country code. So now I'm going to go down again. Again, I'm going to click on connected select existing connection and click on save. So once done here, I'm going to map the mobile number with the fifth step, which is the text formatter. And here is my mobile number. Once done, now we have to fill in this information body field and uh, basically the name. So here the name would be, I'm going to write it. So this is dummy Pabli. Let's click on this. Now the body field too, basically the amount. Here the amount, we have to get it from the fourth step, which is number formatter. And this is the amount. And then what is the product? 
So here my product will be received to my third step payment intent. This is the name of my plan, Pabli Plus plan. Now in body field four, we have to provide the email address of the company. So I, I can simply write here. And now let's click on save and send test request. So here you can see that we have received uh, the API response which says that this particular message has been received. And here you can see the screenshot of the WhatsApp message that I've just received. Now this message says, dear dummy Pabli, a refund of 35,000 has been processed against the product Pabli Plus plan. The refund will be processed within two to three working days. Please feel free to connect at admin at pabblitudes.com in case of any queries regards team Pabli. This means that the process is complete. These two applications, Stripe and WhatsApp, these are now totally connected, which means that every time there's a refund created on Stripe, I will receive a WhatsApp message. So now I'm going to check this in real time. I'm going to go back to Stripe and here I'm going to make another refund. So I'm going to go here, click on this refund payment and now again click on refund. So the moment this refund has been done, what should happen? I should receive a message on my WhatsApp. And here you can see the screenshot of the message that I've just received. So it is, dear demo admin, a refund of this amount has been processed against the product Pabli Plus plan. The refund will be processed within two to three working days and the rest of the message remains the same. I hope this is very much clear to you. If in case you have any doubts, then you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. We are going to quickly go back to Public Connect and understand the entire process. So here, the Stripe to WhatsApp integration had quite a few steps. The first trigger the application was Stripe where the action event was new refund. Once that was done, so we needed to send a message on WhatsApp for which we had to have the mobile number and the product details. So we had chosen Stripe as the action application again. And this time the event was retrieve a customer by email. Next, we had retrieved a payment intent. And then here the number for matter was supposed to be used. Why? Because the amount was not correct. And then the last thing was we had to split the plus sign from the mobile number so that it can be received in the desired format. So finally, our action was WhatsApp Cloud API and the event was send template message. Now you can also clone this workflow which is given in the description box and start to process immediately. If you have got any other advice or suggestion, you can always write to us.